about there. Brand new tune by Man, him. That sounded get your good. Microphone. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's see if we can't get uh, everybody up here. Let's okay. see here. Uh, All right, there is uh, Mr. Joe, the man himself. How you doing, brother? Morning, how are you? Man, I'll tell you, I, I'm better than I deserve is uh, what they tell me. Let's see here. All right, there's the beach booter. Let me get him out of the green room there. There we go. There we go. How you doing, buddy? Hold on a minute. I forgot my I forgot my things. Uh oh. Second or no? Yeah. No. No. What is it? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. All right. What you, what, here we go. Here I got it right here. Let's see here. We got the new. I got one here too. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Boomers uh, Shamrock Bay. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, I, I finally got to taste some of this. And, uh, man, I love a little hint of that uh, mint chocolate in it. Are you there? Yeah, we're here. Did you, uh, make, did you make your ears squally? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to tell you, I, I partook in the, in the Irish coffee, in the Boomer's uh, Irish coffee. So I made one, made two, made three. And then, and then it went straight to the Irish whiskey. So I promise you, I'm with you. It's just gonna be a little slow this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, man. Well, I tell you, it's uh, so. Tell us a little bit about the, how this idea came about. Well, I guess Joe and I will split this up. But you know, you know, Boomer wrote our wrote our jingle. Mm -hmm. and, uh, after after working with Boomer and and you know coming up with all our different everything is Bay. We wanted to do something, you know. For the season, something that would grab everybody, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, our ambassadors, you know, Mr. Dyer and Miss Meyer. Is that a song, Dyer and Meyer? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, with them doing their their cocktail challenges and all that good stuff, it kind of inspired this. And then we said, well, we're going Boomer's Bay, Shamrock, and that's how Boomer Shamrock Bay came about. Mm -hmm. And then we put it together, and and then uh, Joe did his magic with the marketing and the. And, and here we are. Well, I'm glad you didn't put Boomer's picture on it, okay? Because oh, man, that hurts. <laughs> that, that's too much to look at first thing in the morning. All right, I'm just saying, you know, I, I mean, because I'd have to turn the bag around the, the other way. That way, you know, you know. It's just, it's just... <laughs> Becky's guy. Do what now? You saw the picture the other, the picture the other day we put up all of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's really good. It, for me... Uh, now, you know, I, I like the Holiday Bay and uh, Coconut Bay, you know, on an everyday kind of coffee. But I do love this. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, I always tell people about our chocolate martinis. Uh, if you go out to dinner, you know, order you a chocolate martini. You know, when they come around and say, did you serve time? Did you save, you know, dessert? You always feel like the waitress is getting, uh, you know, uh, an extra dib or something if she's selling dessert or whatever, you know. But anyway, I always say, get you a chocolate martini instead of dessert, and it's so much better for you. Well, that same thing with this. This is a really good uh, after brunch kind of coffee, you know, a little extra flavor there for you. Well, you know, it's it's got the uh, the coffee the coffee base uh, the coffee base the dark coffee base, mm -hmm. and it's got the uh, the chocolate to it, and it's just got a little hint of mint, which which kind of accentuates the chocolate. It brings it, it gives it that little bit more of a bite, and that's what when you add your your Jamesons or your liquors or whatever, that's what kind of pulls it all together. Yeah. We, did, mm -hmm. we did research on it, and that's how we came up with that. You know, Joe and I were talking the other day, and, and Joe, you definitely expand on this. We come up with all this stuff and we we throw it out there and sometimes we don't think i mean we could do so much more marketing and so much more so many more things with it we just we're like all right boomer shot rock bay it's out tomorrow yeah Call danny it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, constantly yelling at me he's like what do you mean you know, i know I yeah into the, into the, to the, to, i was gonna say the studio went to the you know to the roasting room and playing with the flavors and coming up with stuff and so it's kind of cool yeah yeah that particular morning people were sending me a message my phone was blowing up hey what's this new uh beach buddha coffee uh flavor i'm like i have no idea but i'm sure we'll figure it out <laughs> <laughs> i'm like just order it okay just order it <laughs> well that's because the night, the night before we were on the phone with boomer and the um we just said, you know what, well, it's not my show tomorrow. So it just, it just happened that quick. Yeah. Uh, but we had been going back and forth for about a week and a half with different formulations of this coffee. Where Boomer found the one that was perfect. Because he was making Irish coffees and he was, he was drinking. And he was, we had this uh, Marco Polo thing where the three of us talked back and forth. 
and he was making it. He goes, no, I don't like that one. No, I don't like that one. And then finally went up with this one. He goes, perfect, we got it. Yes. So the other thing is, though, when they order Shamrock Bay, they're also, oh, look who's in the room. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. Yeah. I saw your message this morning. I got to get up early for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, top of the morning to you. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Doing good, doing good. How are you guys? Hey, man, doing good. good. It's like a really bad episode of The Sopranos. I know, right? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell are you doing, Tiki, man? I was just telling them that uh, I was so glad they didn't put your picture on the front of the, the coffee because I, I don't know if I could do that every morning, you know, getting it out of the cabinet and looking at your picture every morning. You know what I'm saying? I dare you. I am a handsome <laughs> devil. Are you kidding me? I Holy know. cow. So what do you guys think, though? You've tried the coffee? It's good? Oh, it's fantastic. Got it right here in the studio. And, uh, man, I tell you, I really love it. I, I, th- I love the hint of the, 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 the mint in there, just a little bit of hint. You can, you can taste it. I mean, you guys do a fantastic job of coming up with all these new coffees. We, we work hard at it, Danny, and we appreciate that. Um, it, it's, it's always, there's always something going. Working on a couple of new ones right now that we're, we're going to work with a something that's going to have something to do with the Jersey Shore, so we're working on a perfect flavor for that. Um, and we've always got new ones coming down the pike, um, and so the line is expanding. This, the Shamrock Bay is really only going to be for March, for St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Um, but what I started to say before, before Boomer jumped into the show, I, I kind of knew he was going to come there. Just, I feel like. <laughs> um, when, you, when you order Shamrock Bay, you get Boomer's secret family recipe Ooh. on how to make Irish coffee. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah my, wife, my wife's been working on that recipe for a long time, and uh, it's it's a good one. I mean, you know, Chris Chris, and Joe, we agreed that this coffee is not just for Irish coffee, though. It's a great morning coffee. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really is. I mean, you want a, a good pick-me-up, but we also tested it to make sure it was good for Irish coffee, and it is perfect. Nice. It really is. Follow that recipe to the T. You'll be, you'll be in, in heaven. That's good, man. That's good. <laughs> Part about it is when we're when we're Marco Poloing, as Joe mentioned, with with Boomer at you know uh, 10, 11, 12 o'clock on a Friday night after his his show. It's it's quite interesting watching his drunken butt over there talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah, I'm half in the bag after my show. I'm actually full full in the bag. Holy cow, we have, yeah we have we have a good time. You guys are you guys are doing great though. I mean, I they, you know going back and forth with the flavors. Uh, Chris and Joe were really cool about, you know, I, I'd send it back to them and be like, ah, we're getting close, but not yet. And the, the two of them worked really well, man. It was really cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm honored to have it. I got friends that are texting me on Facebook like, what the hell is this? Boomer's <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> At one point, Joe and I were on the, were on the phone together. We're like, wait a minute. Who's the creators here? Us or him? We'll do it our <laughs> We're going to the source. We got Dublin in the house. Let him do it. So, and that's how you know that's how it came about. We, of course, we we do the I call it the science of it. But he he tasted it and tweaked it. We let him do the taste testing, and we finalized it. But there was nothing to change. Yeah, well, I tell you, it came out really well, and 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 I love the idea of having a holiday. Um, oh, we lost uh, we lost the oh, beef noodle. Yeah. <laughs> We lost uh, we lost Boomer for a second, but anyway, I love the idea of having the holiday um, flavor, hey. right? You know, and, and just like the uh, you know we talked about like uh, craft beer, you know, like Samuel Adams, you yes, know, they have you seasonal have beer, right? Right, and everybody just waits and waits and waits and mm-hmm. waits, and as soon as it comes out, boom, they they go grab it, you know. So it's very cool to have it that way. Let's see if we can get Boomer back in here. Wait, it's funny you brought up Sam Adams. Joe and I both watched, which I think Boomer sent to us. A whole documentary on Sam Adams. Uh, what's his name? Jim. Jim. Uh, I forget his last name, but Jim was his name. And the whole documentary was about his career, and it was an interview. And the one thing he was saying, basically, just do it. Go out there. Just get customers. Just come up with your, your stuff, and, and don't worry about anything else. Just do it. Everything else will follow. And I watched that, and I called Joe, and I'm like, that's that's when we we're just on the cusp of the uh, Shamrock Bay, and it was full steam ahead. And all of a sudden, when 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 you know Joe's always kicking my butt about you know focus on different things, and all of a sudden it was like things changed. Orders were coming in. We were communicating with people, and so it's it's cool you brought up the Sam Adams. He's got a great a great marketing program, and he said one thing I remember. He said if I could take one percent of the share of the craft beer market, mm-hmm. I'll make it. 
Yeah. And that's kind of what we're going after. The coffee market is so huge, but if we can get that 1% share of what we love and continue to do, we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it works out really well. The flavoring uh, flavors of coffee, seasonal, if you will, uh, is is a great idea. And it really does go back to Samuel Adams. They kind of cornered that whole thing about, uh, you know, seasonal beer. So it, it's really cool to have it that way. Boomer, you're doing pretty good with uh, Boomer's Basement. Uh, how many yeah, shows, man. How many shows you up to now? Uh, 35, I think. We've done 35 of that, and we've done about the same amount um, on the Boomer Sunday hangover. So, uh, yeah, it's been going good, and I, I'm really excited, man. You got one of my my very, very good friends uh, joining the Tiki Man crew, Aaliyah Moore, with uh, Blame It On Buffett. Yep. Uh, she She's actually going to – we're going to have a, a, a strictly Buffett episode in two weeks with her. Mm-hmm. And a couple other Buffett podcasters. So, uh, yeah, it, it's been going great, man. We could, we're just having a fun time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that, that's what it's all about. You got Jonas on today? You got Jonas on today with his new CD. And, uh, you know, Blame It on Buffett podcast. We, we're so excited about carrying that on the radio. She does such a great job. And uh, having that coming on at 7 o'clock on Monday, starting next Monday, uh, and, you know, she's got so many shows that are archived there. You know, if she decides to take a weekend off or whatever, you know, we, we've got her covered. You know, we've got plenty of shows to do. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome. I, she's, like I said, she's become a really good friend. I, I did her show over the summer, and she's awesome. I, I'm so happy that that's going to be a, a, a partnership. Nice nice work. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I tell you, it's not about me, though. It's about these two bums. Yeah. <laughs> These two bums in the crazy ass coffee. I tell you, man, holy cow. This is, uh, yeah, it's, I tell you, if you guys get a chance, go out there, buy the coffee. It's really good stuff. Um, I'm still addicted to the coconut bay. Uh, I, I swear to God, you blew that Me stuff too. and your whole house smells like vacation. <laughs> yeah. And during this crazy pandemic and the crappy weather we've had up here in Jersey, I've needed a vacation. Yeah, Big time. <laughs> what do you think of our, our new uh, our new tagline? You know, take a trip with every sip. You know, with the best roast from coast to coast. You think that that's working? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love it, man. <laughs> uh, and yeah. that that's what you got to do. I mean, because you know, we took a trip up to Canada a couple of years ago and did a show up there. And, and <laughs> lead, lead us to say, getting coffee was a hard thing to do. So I came back, and that's the first thing I did was want to get some coffee. And thanks for Boomer for hooking us all up. You know, because. We needed. We need to have coffee we can take with us on the road. You know. I'm gonna tell you right now. Poor Verona Corona is never gonna live that down. Never, never. <laughs> <laughs> well, now with Beach Buddha, you can pack a pound of coffee in your suitcase, and uh, you'll never be without it, man. <laughs> Every time I call Jimmy <laughs> Parrish, he never says hello. He says, "Are you want me to go back to Canada? Is there gonna be coffee?" <laughs> <laughs> So you'll never be without coffee in Canada. That's for sure. Yeah, that's right. Just throw it in your duffel bag. I, I, I might have to put one in my guitar case. We'll see. I always have coffee with me. Well, Tinkerbell <laughs> got, got her Beach Buddha coffee, and she was sharing it with our producer Monica up in Canada yesterday. So they were having a good time sending me messages with that as well. Yeah, why the hell am I staring at you guys? Where's Heather? Put the, put... <laughs> <laughs> She's upstairs working on the tamales. We also have tamales that were shipped in from Key West from the tamale man, Mr. Brian Fields. So we're going to be tasting those in the in the studio here a little bit. So she's working on that upstairs with Lou. <laughs> what do you have your own like UPS in the garage? You get everything. You got stuff being delivered from all over the world. Like, I know dude. it's fantastic. It's fantastic to be me. It really is. You know, dude, I'm, I, I, I'm moving in with you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> on. I'm moving to Chattanooga. <laughs> Come on down, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Come on down. Have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Now hey. we're, we're long overdue for a Danny lowers the boom uh, house concert at uh, at the new uh, spacious. Uh, Tiki Man Resort. <laughs> well, we have the Tiki Bar stage now out at the Tiki Bar. We've got a permanent stage built out there, so yeah, we're we're in. A yeah, you can shape. fit another three hundred people back there. So I mean, Jesus, it's like you, you got a resort. Wait, now, do or do we have like private bungalows now there too? I mean, will I have like like a little? Or, or is it just a guest room still? Do I get it? Like a boomer bungalow? Well, it's that's phase twenty seven dash nineteen coming in uh, twenty twenty three. That's that's for the next pandemic. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I could really use another uh, shutdown. You know, for about three months, I believe I could build some bungalows. <laughs> well, why don't you, I we just need a small table to, to brew the coffee at, so that's what we're good. Uh, he's he's got a bar in every room of that house over there at Tiki Man's, man. I tell you right, have you been? Wait, Chris, have you guys made it to Tiki Man's house yet? Not yet. Not yet. July oh, for the love of God, what are you waiting for? Jesus. July the 12th. 
July the 12th is the plan. That's right. Dude, they, you, now, but Tiki Man's got perfect strangers that walk into his house seven nights a week. It's like every time you turn around, it's like another. Uh, who the hell is this? Yeah. You, do you know these people? Yeah. No. Yeah, these guys are coming down for the uh, summer party, which will be July the 10th. And, uh, awesome. July the That'd 10th, cool. uh, Greg Dillard's going to be on stage, uh, and then we do the show on I love Sunday. Greg Dillard. And then we're off to uh, Jamaica, baby, for uh, our uh, Tiki Man Radio Escape to Paradise in Montego Bay. Joe, we're, how are we doing on that? Doing good. We're at um, uh, 22 rooms. Um, you know, three nice. rooms available. Just call, call me. We'll get you. We'll get you booked on here. Only a hundred dollars to reserve your room, mm-hmm. and you'll have to pay it off till May 7th. Um, you're fully covered up until that point if something happens. We're monitoring the situation with the travel very closely. Right now, it's not a big deal. Um, the Rio Hotel is providing the COVID tests for free uh, before you come back home to the United States. Mm-hmm. So uh, it has to be done within three days of the park. And so we're, we're covered on it. Um, just give me a call and want more information about it. And uh, we would love to get you on that trip. We're going to have a great time. Yeah, we got people uh, entertaining on that sh- that trip, uh, Tiki Man. Well, well, there is talk about Jim Azabel coming down and entertaining uh-huh. us down there next to the pool. So uh, we got to get up to a certain. We need to get back up to. We were getting close, headed towards thirty rooms. We had a couple of cancellations. People kind of freaking out about things, but uh, now we got to ramp it back up. So if we can get to thirty rooms, we can, with Jim Azabel is going to come down and uh, party with us in Jamaica. That's fantastic. Think- Jim's awesome. Yeah. Oh, sir. Yeah. And I'm happy you got uh, my other buddy too playing the. Uh, the it, now, is that your birthday show or is that something different this year? No, no, that'd be our. Yeah, that's the the birthday bash. We just call it a Tiki Bar Summer Party. That'd be the 14th annual Tiki Bar Summer Party, July the 10th. Now, nice. So when is it? When is it? The, so we're leaving, Joe and 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 Tiki Man on the the 11th. We're leaving or the 12th? The 12th. Well, okay. So the 11th is Sunday. Yes. All right, so the 10th is Saturday. All right, so I made a mistake because I plan on hitting that tiki bar the 10th or the 11th. We're, that's that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully we'll still make it to Jamaica. I'll be there waiting for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking Boomer's Irish hat. I'm coming with a kilt. A bottle of Bailey's and a case of coffee. There you go. There you go. I'm going to the pool bar before any of you guys get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're an old pro. Yeah. I haven't done a cruise since I worked on one back in the 90s, man. Well, you guys are going to have a good time, though. That's a good crowd. Well, guys, we're going to let you fly because we got to get ready for Jonas coming up here shortly. He's actually going to be playing us some tunes during the interviews, too. Uh, but uh, congratulations. I yeah, congratulations on the new uh, Boomer's Shamrock uh, Bay coffee. Get yours now. It's available. Yeah. Hey, let me thanks thanks for letting me crash. And yeah, everybody out there, buy some uh, buy buy go to the Beach Buddha. What's it? BeachBuddha.com, right? Or mm-hmm. BeachBuddhaCoffee.com. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Go to BeachBuddhaCoffee.com, guys. Seriously, you're gonna love every drop of that coffee. And, and uh, happy St. Patrick's Month to everybody. Yeah, there right, you go. Guys. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Yep, see you.